Who could forget last summer's 7.1 and 6.4 magnitudes earthquakes in Ridgecrest? There's been now more than 100,000 aftershocks ever since. And now a major fault line capable of producing a magnitude 8 quake mm. has started moving for the first time on record. And to put it in very non-scientifically terms, it's actually freaking mm. some people out. Tonight, KCALING's Rachel Kim is live at Caltech in Pasadena with a more scientific explanation for us. Rachel? Susie and Jeff, the study's author here at Caltech, says this study wasn't about forecasting when the next big earthquake will be. Rather, he says he wants us to learn what they learned from the Ridgecrest earthquakes. When the Ridgecrest earthquakes rocked Southern California this past summer, a fault capable of producing an 8.0 magnitude earthquake began sliding. That's according to a just published study by Caltech and NASA. It is significant uh, because we hadn't seen this kind of activity occurring on the Garlock before. Dr. Zachary Ross is an assistant professor of geophysics at Caltech and the lead author of the study. He said soon after the Ridgecrest sequence, radar satellites picked up unprecedented movement on the 160 mile Garlock Fault. Dr. Ross believes the quakes and the movement on the fault are connected. So these brown lines here indicate uh, what we call the surface rupture of. Uh, the Ridgecrest main shocks. So the Ridgecrest earthquake, the magnitude 7.1, basically ended uh, only a few miles away from uh, this Garlock Fault right here. Dr. Ross says it's yet to be determined how the movement or the creep on the Garlock Fault could affect the possibility of future quakes. But he says since we live in earthquake country, we should remember there's a potential for large quakes, not just along one long fault like the San Andreas, but also from a collection of smaller faults like we saw with the Ridgecrest sequence. That was created by more than 20 faults. And so you can kind of think of this as um, one fault triggering another like dominoes. That really shows us that, um, you know, even if there's not a really large fault somewhere that you can still have significant seismic hazard, which is um, increasingly consistent with uh, what we've been observing over the last several decades. Dr. Ross says a quake hasn't erupted on the Garlock Fault in 500 years, but of course, scientists will be watching it closely. Reporting live tonight in Pasadena, Rachel Kim, KCAL 9 News.